I really like this little Makita router. The only thing about it that really bothers me is the dust route because it doesn't really work particularly well. Let me demonstrate. This is the original Makita dust collection shroud. Unfortunately you have to buy it separately, but it only costs a couple of bucks. It's made from 2mm thick polycarbonate. Pretty strong compared to most other router dust collection gadgets. A couple of vendors sell this as being a quote unquote 35mm adapter, but the inner diameter is actually 32mm and the outer diameter 37.5 which means that it doesn't fit on my standard 36mm hose connector or into the next bigger size 39mm inner diameter connector. So I designed this adapter in Fusion and printed it out of PETG on my 3D printer. It printed at 40mm per second, 60% infill and 240 degrees centigrade at the nozzle. If you want, you can download those files from my Thingiverse page. And I cut off this tube section so that the dust shroud won't end up too unwieldy. Polycarbonate is actually quite easy to glue and this glue also does well with PTG. And now I can connect the hose and show you what the real problem is. First a control cut without dust collection. I'm cutting a 20mm wide slot 10mm deep into a piece of particle board. And now with the original Makita dust collection shroud connected to my shop work. And as you can tell this has basically zero effect and the air in the shop gets saturated with nasty fine dust. So what the heck is going on here? This is a simplified cut through the router. This is the router motor with its rotor and its cooling fan. And here is the collet chuck and here is the router cutter. And that is our dust collection shroud. When the router is running the motor sucks in cool air from above heats it up and blows it out the bottom, which is how excess heat is disposed of. The problem is that the air gets blown directly into the dust collection shroud and is promptly sucked up by the shop vac. In fact, the motor blows out a greater volume of air then the vacuum can suck in, which means that the shavings end up getting blown all over the place. And right here at the cutter where we need that suction, there is of course nothing left. So to mitigate that we have to somehow close off the top of the dust hood so that the airstream from the motor will get deflected outwards. And we need to somehow concentrate the suction onto the cutter. And this is the solution that I came up with, sort of a funnel type thing. The air from the motor is now restricted to flow like this, taking the shavings from the cutter with it. 
and some of the air will flow in directly through the channel created by the cutter itself. And most of the air from the motor will get deflected outwards because this has basically been completely enclosed. So I modeled up that part in Fusion and printed it. This pocket is there to accommodate the spindle lock when the router is plunged all the way down. I also designed a version of that funnel that will snap into place, but I think I will simply glue this one on. And now testing with the funnel. And without the funnel. And with the funnel. I would say that this works actually really well. There's only some dust being ejected at the ends where the base is not in full contact with the workpiece. And this system with a slightly different funnel does also work really well with my homemade base plate with a guide bushing. Here with the original dust shroud. And here with the additional funnel. Now I think as far as router dust collection goes, this is now about as effective as it gets. But this also goes to show that even a good product can always be improved a little further. And in case somebody's wondering, these printed parts are actually surprisingly strong. <laughs> 